Greetings and welcome to Factory Town Idol. I'm Captain of Sky and we are listening to the music of Jonathan Ong right now. Just to let you know, the game, as far as I know, has no music yet. Um, this is an idol game based on our really beloved um, factory game called Factory Town. You've seen me play several series of it over the years and it is... It has been making all kinds of prugs. Oh my god, I love the visual distortion of the jar. Like, this is how you'd see this thing if it was a real jar. Fantastic artistry there. Um, anyway, the game has now been turned into an idle game, or, or, or this is a spin-off, I guess you could say. Uh, also, this game is right now on free playtest. So if you want to check it out, go to the Steam page. Uh, go to the Steam Store page and do the request access. Um, every little while, I, I, am, I am told by the developer, it um, Steam notifies the dev and he gets to open the playtest to more people. So you may not get instant access, but you will. You might get it after a short amount of time. There is no guarantee of getting a key for the full game afterward, I'm told. Um, but you can test it out and see if you like it. Um, he says that the retail price is likely to be something around $5 when it releases. So, um, and I believe there are no microtransactions. I, I don't remember. Don't quote me on that, but I think so. Uh, normally, uh, that's the case whenever you pay for a game. You don't have to pay, like, additionally. This is an interesting idle game because um, we're going to try a brand new town here. We'll call it uh, Skyland. Could have called it Sky Town, I guess, but any Skyland is fine. Um, only the very first couple of things are clicks. Then you claim, yay, and then we get a house. We can build a house. Um, so we're gonna build our first house, and once that house is built, we no longer need to click. Hooray! I like this because that means, uh, yeah, my neuropathy gets rest. <laughs> so. Um, and like all idle games, this does work in the background. Like if you turn the game off uh, and then you turn it on a couple hours later, then you get more stuff and more things. So that's good. Um, but what we're working on here is getting more houses happening here. Um, why did that build automatically? I'm kind of confused by this. Anyway, we're going to put in more workers there. And as soon as we get enough logs, here's our logs over on the left. We will get stuff and things. So here we can see at the top how much land we have. We need one piece of land to build a house. Uh, as land is required to construct buildings, level up your town to gain more land. And then this is the level up button. We don't even have gold yet, but that is what is required for the next things and stuff. So let us build more houses. Let's harvest, harvest more people. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, claim more people. There we go. Rocks. Hooray! Let's get somebody harvesting rocks now. And that we're going to, we're going to, this is another resource. And even though it kind of looks like other idle games, the thing with this one is that you need to produce a certain amount of resources. You have markets you can sell resources with, um, but you adjust plus and minus because you might want to change things around. So it's very much more interactive than most idle games, I would say, um, where you need different things to build different things. So now we've gotten the general store, which is kind of great. Uh, the general store allows us to sell stuff, right? And that's going to get us some gold. So we can claim this, yay. Natural markets, we get grain as well. So let's see, can we build another house yet? Not yet. We have to sell stuff, so what do we got the most of? We got a lot of wood. Let's sell the wood. So we can sell some of this. And we're now generating gold. Hooray! So we can now build another general store. And that means we can build another, let's sell some stone now. Um, we do need to build some houses. Let's build a house or two. So we can get more stuff and things. We can claim some more stuff. Lumber mill, hooray! Now the lumber mill is great because the lumber mill, let's stop selling wood. See, now this is a thing where we can like move stuff around, move people around, move resources, move markets. Let's also get somebody harvesting grain. Uh, maybe we take one off of this and, and sell grain for a bit. Uh, now we're going to build a lumber mill. The lumber mill allows us to craft products, uh, which is right now it's going to be planks. And then the market. Look at how much the planks are worth. They're worth three gold rather than, uh, what is it, five gold or one gold? One gold, yeah. 
So this is going to get us a lot more stuff. We're going to claim quest coin plus one menu perks. So we have these quest coins as well, which we have... These are not very well explained. They're like... There's no mouse over or anything, so I don't know what the heck this is for, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's see, we... Can we build this? No land. Oh, we have no land. We need to level up our town. We have 40, 46 gold, gold coins currently, so that's good. Hooray. Yay. We need more land because we can't build much. Let's see. How much are we doing here? We're doing plus 20.25 and we're plus 0.98 right now on the wood. We actually have one available worker. Let's get more wood. Because I want to... How much? Let's see. 32. I want to see if we can build the general store without having... No, we can't. We need land. We need land for everything. There we go. Town level 1. Natural resource capacity plus 25%. Land plus 13. Hooray! So, let's build more lumber mills. And we'll build another house. And we're going to get further. Okay. Make sure to assign your new lumber mill because they're not automatically assigned. Let's claim stuff. We got a quarry and quest coins and water. Now we have water. So let's build another house. Good, good. Now we have a new resource called water. All right, let's put a person on that. We can also now sell said water. It's uh, one thing. Keep in mind that you're also making people happy by supplying them with goods. So we really need to build plenty of stuff. Now, one of the interesting things here is I didn't get what this was initially, like the prospecting, the quarry, I was like, huh? Eh? What this seems to be is this rock is quarried by people and it gives you plus 0.5 per second, okay? Harvesting, we're using plus 0.65 per second, but once we run out or something, um, then we're going to go back to to the limit on prospecting there so anyway let's go put another person there um so you want to start your prospecting early you want to start building more of these things because you kind of need them uh there's going to be one for trees you're going to get a forestry as well uh so i suggest you build plenty of those early there we go good good did we get another market i thought we got another market no Okay, we do need more coins, need more coins. Yeah, this is the best what we can do at the moment. Wait, 0 0.18, what are we making though? We're making 0 0.6. We should take one off of trees. Oh no, uh, or, uh -uh. we actually have a lot of water. Um, let's take one off here and put them on here. Looks like we're rate limited here. Limited output capacity. That's not good. Let's sell this water because that is not getting used at all. We might as well use it. But we do have the inventory and it shows how much we're making per second. So that's good. Uh, okay. Planks. We need another lumber mill, I think. Let's build another one of those. We'll build another house for more people. Claim. All right. Got another quest coin. Building Forester. So we need to build one of these. That's 60 coins. Because otherwise we're going to run out of wood. And that would not be good. Okay, we need to really build another market. Or general store. Yeah, let's build a general store. We are getting 0.4 per second. We might want to cut down this for a bit. So that we gain more logs per second. There we go. Because I want to build a general store. There we go. That's going to be important to do. Okay, build a forester as well. Okay, we need 46 to build another general store. Okay, uh, let's see, harvesting, prospecting. Okay, let's claim, 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 claim. Cultivation is where the trees are growing. Let's put that in there. I don't know why these are not in the same, I think I feel, I feel like they could be in like the same category, nature or something like that. Um, Cause it feels like I, well, I haven't gotten very far in the game. Maybe there's a million of these things in these tabs. But it feels like they could be combined at this point. Um, okay, we have two new workers. Let's get one here and one there. Crafting. 
do we want to... I think we need another general store so that we can just sell more stuff. I want to sell more... Looks like we can't really do much there, but we can sell the water for sure. Okay, so we're selling water. We can sell the grain and the stone. I don't really want to sell anything else from here, but that's going to give us more coins per second, which is kind of good, kind of great. All right, planks. Let's build one another general store. Um, maybe another forester as well. Let's build a general store, yep. And now the houses are starting to be more expensive. They're cutting their planks and stone bricks. Now, we don't even have a stone bricks maker, so we need to get that soon. All right, here we go. More tree tree foresting. Let's go. Wood, do we sell wood? I don't think we want to sell raw wood. I think we want to convert it all into planks if we can. Um, okay, buildings. Okay, so we can't do much else. I think we turn... Let's see, wood, let's turn this up and we'll see this number obviously go down, but we need more planks right now anyway. So now the market should be happier, maybe? Hmm. Anyway, but as you do each activity also, I think you level up. Um, I think you level up. Okay, so we have five stars now. I think we want workers per house. Because we have how many workers right now? I think that seems like OP. Okay, we have five, six, seven, eleven workers. So let's take this one. Build workers per house. Two workers we get. <laughs> They're like partial workers per house, apparently. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's a funny. Okay, let's get these guys on rocks as well because we're going to get a stonemason next. So let's build the stonemason if we can. Oh no, we need to level up the town. All right, cool. All right, so now we need 30 coins to build this. And we can start selling cut stone because that's a, the next um, market that we can get into and stop selling one of the cheapy stuffs like uh, grain, for example. We can start selling stone bricks because those are also worth four coins a piece. See, here we go. Four coins a piece. Nice. But we need to get... Um, we need to build more of these things. We need to build more. Build. Let's go. Here we go. Wait, did the thing not go on repeat? Hold on. Apparently it's not on repeat mode. Uh, Yeah, it is. Never mind. It just has more silence at the end than I remembered. Okay. Yep, it's fine. It's all fine. All the things are fine. Let's see. We are still... We can still use more stuff here. Okay, very good. So how's stone going? Stone's going fine. Fine, thank you very much. Let's build another stonemason and another lumber mill. I don't know how to tell. Let's see, here we have 130 trees or 1.3 trees yeah and we're harvesting three trees i'm not really sure how that works to be honest i have no idea how that works i really don't know but let's just get these guys up and now we're at minus 0.2 trees and then water and stone also is minus 0.32 so that means we need more uh we need more of these people doing stuff uh, markets are we plus we are actually plus on that one so we can we're gonna build a, a house here shortly that'll be fine I would suggest getting through the early parts of the game before you leave it to idle um, but again of course you can do whatever you like to do it's how you want to play the game it's just fine but it is fun. I think I think it's fun. I like it. I think it's kind of interesting. I, I like it better than just, oh yeah, slam the button down, keep doing X amount of like, you know, into the trillions and billions and sextuple of billion quintillion thingy thingies or, you know, double divide gentillion or whatever that is. It's like, eh. Okay, trees. Yes, we need more trees. And then we need more stone actually, or more rock, I should say. Um, so I like it a lot better than some regular standard idle games, because you can never win 
those. And they're not interesting because you just keep clicking the button. And it's like, okay, how fun is this? You know, it's not actually fun. It's just, yeah, not great. Definitely not great. Okay, go there, click this, go uh, here now. Let's get rock harvested as well. So I'm not really sure <laughs> how... Um, how the harvesting and cultivation work together. I think when this gets to zero, I think we have issues. Uh, but we can try. I'm not sure what renews the rock either. Because this number just goes... Does it go down? Are we at parity now? Ooh. Okay, harvesting... Three? We're e equal! Hooray! Wow, okay. So this one is still going down. Plus 210... And this is 368. Wow, we need many foresters. Let's build more of those. And houses. And stuff and things. 184 coins for the next. That's a lot. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more foresters. Jeez. Many more foresters to satisfy this crazy wood demand we have. Market, though, we can actually sell more planks because um, I don't know why this number is really not going up. I'm selling 28%, 19%. I don't, I don't really understand this. This doesn't seem to make sense to me. Uh, maybe, oh, maybe. Maybe it's because we're capped. You know what? That could be. Maybe we need to just sell wood instead. Okay, hello? There we go. We can sell wood now instead. And maybe we do the crafting. Let's take off one plank maker. Because we're actually getting way too many planks. And we're not going to be able to store them soon. So that's not great. Okay, what do we need to do? One food mill. We need to harvest grain. Oh, I think we forgot to harvest grain. Let's put another person on that then. Okay, we are harvesting 400 grain. Reach level 10 in planks. I guess that's uh, kind of like a... Um, yeah, harvest 2,000 wood. These are things that we need to do, apparently. Um, let's build another forester. We need to keep building foresters and quarries. Why not? We can build all the things. But we need 370 coins to level up. So forester, making more trees. Yeah, we're down to one tree. That's bad. We need to really build this up again. Because now, now we're capped on this. Somehow it says plus 2.25, but I think that's not quite correct. Um, we can do more grain, I guess. Because we need to fill in this, uh, this achievement so that we can move forward. Um, okay. We can sell grain, actually, too. Selling water might not be a bad thing, either. Okay, we got one thing. We got our wood. We got the mini game menu. Hooray! I don't really like mini games. We also got a wood chopper. Wait, where is that? Oh, I missed it. No, where did it go? Or is that the mini game that we got? Might have been the mini game. Okay, let's let this uh, build up here. We're minus on stone, so we really need to get rid of. Let's take off one of these so that we're positive on stone at least. Um, I think we're good. Might as well take off planks, too, because we uh, are at max. We're, we're capped on planks right now. Yeah, okay. That's better. Anyway, let, let me show you the mini games. Oh, Woodchopper is the game. Okay. So this thing, chop the log to earn wood, hit closer to the center to earn more. Okay, so let's begin. You gotta click the button and click... Oh, that was terrible. Oh, my God. Ah! Oh no. There we go. Perfect. There we go. More perfection. Oh. Why does it jump all the way over there? I thought it was going to jump be like right there. That is so weird. Anyway, you can earn some extra wood just by doing that. If you want to. That is a, a viable thing that you can do. I'm not a big fan of mini games, but it's kind of interesting. It's a little bit more interactive, I guess. Uh, level up the town. Let's go. Land 15 natural resource berry bush. Cool. All right. So we got berry bushes now. And let's build a house. Let's see, harvesting. We can harvest berry bushes now. I'm glad we built a house because we should get another worker here shortly. 
right, let's claim all these. We got a food mill, which is great. Okay, did I not just build a house? Oh, it's not done yet. Wow, it's taking forever. Wow. Okay, let's go here. And then market-wise, we can definitely sell berries now and grain if we want to. No, we did get a food mill. Uh, so let's see what that's going to do for us. Let's build this and that. Goods fulfillment, 72 of 3,600. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, we got a school as well now. Okay, so let's build the school. That's important. Let's build another food mill. All right, so the food mill takes grain into flour. So let's craft those. And then the flour, how much is that worth? That is worth four coins. That sounds like a market to me. That seems good. We're going to earn more money. Research. Hooray. All right, so we've got a new menu called research. Um, so these things cost resources to research. Let's go ahead and start the first one. You can start any one of these, by the way. Um, it seems to take a certain amount of resources per second to do. We, I think we should start all of them of the ones we have. Uh, this one, we need books, and we don't have those yet. So we need to figure out how to get those. But uh, if it's anything like the game, I know how to get those. But it's a bit scary, so we're going to leave it. Uh, we are minus money because we're using a lot of it for the research. I guess that's a reason to stop research or pause it. Um, but it's okay. We, we're selling stuff slowly. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get there. We have two citizens not doing anything. Looks like it. So let's put one on... Huh. Berries, maybe? And grain? Potentially. The food mill... How much are we doing on grain here? We're at still point... Plus point 0.15. Rock, we're not... We're, we really are using way too much here. Uh, so we need to tone that down, I guess. Now we're at, oh, wait a second. Hold, what are we doing here? Stone bricks. Oh, no, we're using stone bricks. Never mind. I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay, now we're at minus one. That's not great on stone. Okay, so it looks like we might need more stone harvesting if we can afford it. Prospecting for rock. We're at three th we're 330. This one is at 330. So we need to build another uh, quarry if we can. But right now, <laughs> we crippled ourselves with research. Uh, they are going up, which is nice. Okay, we have another five points. I'm wondering if we should get... Cultivation productivity sounds pretty good. Or sell value. Let's get the sell value, because I'm sure we can use more money. Okay, so instead of three coins, these are 3.3 .3 coins. And those are 4.4 .4 coins. So get raised it by 10%, which is nice. Which is nice. That's a good, good income boost. 10%. So the yay is real. Um, it looks like we have done something. Did this menu get shorter, shorter or am I just... I must be imagining it. We're at nine, level 9 in planks, which is good. I'm not sure where to read that. Oh, here it is. Lumber mill, 4 planks. Baseline speed plus 0.25. Skill level 9 times 1.9. Okay. So that's where we go. And it doesn't show us an XP thing, does it? No. So that's kind of hidden from us. So we don't really know where we're at on that. Unless we get the award for it. Workshop is almost ready. We're at 99%. There we go. Research! NA mining! <laughs> North American mining, apparently. <laughs> Just a joke. Uh, workshop, and we got the hardware store. Cool. So I guess hardware store is going to sell probably different items, I would guess, if it's anything like the regular game. So we can have, what, workshop is here. We need planks and bricks and gold for that, and then the hardware store is here under markets. But the research is eating everything. Oh, we did complete the stockpile. Okay, we got a building stockpile. That, I don't know what that is, but we can build it now. So let's just do it. Storage, apparently. Oh, did we get extra storage space? We might have. Okay, markets. Were we selling any berries? 
Not yet. We need more. We need more market people. But we don't have more market things. Um, we need the workshop or the hardware store. I really want to save for those. So planks. Let's see. Can we craft more planks? Probably. We'll just use up the excess wood we have and just make a whole bunch of planks. What do we got now? Quest coin and fishing research. Okay. We're getting way too much stuff right now. So I'll leave the mining and the fishing until we finish because I want to build some stuff then instead. Okay. Warehouse. Okay. Didn't we just get a warehouse? Did I miss something here? Paper. Hooray. We got a well, which is nice. We got a hearth, which is also nice. We got a bakery and a hearth. Excellent. Okay. Wow, this is many buildings. All right, so let's build a hardware store some, since we can. The workshop is not ready for us to build yet. Stonemason. Oh, a hearth. Okay, what does a hearth do? Does it say production of fire? Okay, I like this. We're producing fire. Workshop, go. I like how it keeps, like, knocking at us until we build the thing. Helps us keep track of things. Okay, so stockpile. Storage of logs and rocks. Okay, warehouse stores pretty much everything else. Okay, that's good to know. I like that. That's a good tool tip. The interface could be a little bit less transparent because it's a little bit like, I don't know, makes your eyes go a bit buggy. Um, but it's, it's pretty good that it tells us what it stores. I like that. That's very nice. Uh, okay, so hearth is, is making stuff. So, hearth makes fire out of logs. Okay, I guess we can build one of those. Stone bricks we have. Wood wheels, planks, refined planks, and shovels. Oh my god. So we need more workshops. We need many workshops. Okay. Um, the well. What is that going to give us? Then cultivation. Oh, it's going to make more water for us. Okay. Right, because we're just like, I don't know, pulling it out of a stream or something. And we need to actually have a river... We need to dig down for a well for this. So stone bricks, we are at 0.45 per second. I'll try to build the warehouse next so we can store more stuff. We have plenty of flour, though. I think we need to sell some. We are selling some. Maybe. Well, we need more markets. That's what we need, really. Um, what are we making? Do we have wood wheels? We do. Those are worth 7.7 .7 red coins. Now, red coins are a thing in the regular game that's basically a higher level of coins, and they're not interchangeable with gold coins. So in the regular game, you'd have to have both types of coins. You're, you're selling like different like levels of material, different tiers of material. So that's a good thing to kind of keep track of. Let's build a warehouse. And then I'll build... Oh, we need to build more workshops, so I'm going to save my bricks for that, I think. So, warehouse, is it done? Hello? Uh, we still have only holding... We're still only holding berries. Ah, it doesn't hold berries. That's the issue. Okay. We probably need something like a, a silo, some kind of a, a food thing. Okay, refined planks. Uh, those go into shovels, right? Shovels are what? Planks and stones. So let's make shovels because we can sell shovels. We can't sell refined... Pl oh, we can sell them here. Okay. But let's get red coins because apparently we're going to need those. So we need another workshop. Good. Okay. Whew. Man, there's stuff to do here. The water I'm not worried about because we're not really using the water in anything right now. It's not in a crafted material. In fact, I want to stop selling water. I think we can also stop harvesting water. I don't think that's very interesting for our people to do. I'd rather do grain or berry bushes or something. So grain, we need more grain. Never mind about the berries because that's not a viable market really. Um, what else we got here? Refined planks. I don't know if we're making those. Are we making those? Yeah, we're making them, but we're using all of them. Water, berries we can sell. Definitely sell the berries. Okay, level up. Yay. 
All right, town level four, natural resource capacity plus 25%, land plus 17, hooray! Now we have cotton plants, tailors, and cotton cultivation, yo. Okay, so that's a lot of new stuff to go on. Um, all right, let's go harvesting cotton bush. Okay, so we need more people. Let's do that. Build houses. Where's the, the other thingy thingies? Maybe we have to build something. Five wells, what for? Good Lord. Oh my God, that's too many. Uh, ore miner, okay. What is an ore miner? Oh, it's a game. All right, so we can play this game. Let's check it out. Dig to excavate ore formations. Use the known shape formations to help you identify their likely locations. Clicking on solid rock will damage your pickaxe. Oh, I know this one. Okay. Ah, okay. I don't really know how to do this. So it's probably this one. Aha, okay, we found that one. Now this one. I see, it's kind of like finding Tetris pieces. Whoopsies. Oh no. Okay, so it's this one. All right, and this one is right next to it. Nice, cool. Okay, we win. Perfection bonus, 100. Awesome, okay. Okay, cool, that's fun. That reminds me of this game in um, in Parkasaurus. That's kind of cool. I like that game, it was good. Hardware store, let's build one of those. We need to build... What do we, what do we need to do for getting thingies? I think I need to get the ore miner. We need to research stuff. We need to, oh, farming is good. Okay, we can do a pasture and a farm. Uh, cotton cultivation, yeah. And a tailor, I think we need both of those. Okay, menu upgrades and coins. All right. What do we want to do? Hmm. Skill gain speed, I think is important because this a lot of this requires that. General store, house cost. Ooh. Upgraded house costs! Fantastic! Oh my god. Oh! Now we have upgrades. Okay. That's money. Well, as you see, there are lots of things here. Nutsy things, crazy things, lots of things. So do we want to do fishing? Maybe we do fishing. What do we want from here? Ore miner? We have several ore miner things. Maybe it's this. Um, yeah, this is cotton. We don't even have cotton yet. Harvesting. Oh, here it is. Cotton plants. Okay, cool. Cultivation, cultivation. Yeah, we need to get more forestry buildings for sure. Okay, let's get uh, refined stone brick. Okay. Do we get more refined planks? I guess we could. Just so we have some of everything. I guess we don't really need the hearth. Um, because we are... We have tons and we're not needing any of it. It's probably used in a workshop of some kind that requires fire, like a blacksmith or something. Um, so we got a farm and a well. These are planks. What are we doing with planks now? We are definitely not getting enough of them. Uh, so this is point four five two to one. Uh, so wood is this research eating it all up? Oh, mining! Hooray! Iron ore deposit and metal. Okay. There we go, we just need another... Get you over there instead. That seems good. Okay, so we have another one. Let's sell shovels. Wait, do we have any of these? We do have some. They are expensive things. Wooden wheels are actually better to sell. You know what, let's sell the wheels. Who cares about shovels? Oh, actually we do care about shovels, kind of. Uh, because the research needs them. So we need books for these. Oh, we can't. Oh, we might as well pause these because they would not have the books. 
But metal we can research. These are flour. Yeah, we can research bakery and pasture. This is refined planks. We don't have a lot of those. Let's leave that for now. Because we don't have any books. That could be a, a slight issue. Just slight. <laughs> Just slight. I need everything, man. I need all the things. So these are planks. We really need more planks. How are we doing on planks here? 0, 0.0 per second. Okay, great. Crafting. Trees. Wow. I We are... Uh, mm. No. I think we need more people harvesting. Let's go... Hmm. Oh, I see. This is what's happening is that the, the wheels and the shovels are eating all of this. All of the planks. That's the main problem here. What about the wood? I like this menu, by the way. This is pretty cool. So the wood is being eaten by uh, planks and fire, mostly. Uh, the fire is because of the research. And we're only harvesting one per second. I don't know what the money is on. Oh, that's probably selling it? Are we selling wood? Yeah, we are. That's a bad idea. Uh, we shouldn't sell so many planks either, I think. Let's stop selling stone as well. Why are we selling this stuff? My god. This is bad. Bad! Where is our cotton? Is this cotton? It is. Okay, so let's sell the cotton for now. Uh, we can do that instead. And sell... Are we getting water? No. Um, grain, do we care? Yes, we care. Okay. Okay, that seems good. So crafting... Yeah, okay, that should be a bit better. No, it's still not better. Split between planks and fire. How much research are we needing into fire? There's still a bit to go, looks like it. Okay. We could get... Okay, skill gain speed seems really good. Market capacity. General store level 1. Huh. Or workers per house. Let's do that. How many did we get? Six more. Wow, that's good. Okay, that means we can get more trees, more grain, more cotton, more berries. Do we need berries? No, we don't need berries. Iron ore deposits. Okay, that's cool. Um, but it looks like we can sell some berries. Where is the berries? It's over here. Okay, let's sell all of that. There we go. I like having this menu that it shows you like where everything is going. I was kind of looking around for that for a while. I was like, ah, how do you find? How do you figure this out? Prospecting, productivity, cultivation, productivity. Um, I think we want to do the like cultivation productivity. Maybe I don't know what these are, but I feel like it should be good. What do we have right now in this? Wow. <laughs> Point five five one point eight. Point five five one point eight. What does that do for us here? Go away. Point five five one point eight. It doesn't do anything. It seems like that's not good. Limited input available. Yeah, we need more of these uh, huts. More huts. Okay, we need another forester. We're out of planks, though. Planks are deadly. Not the refined planks, the regular planks. Where are these going? Wood wheels, shovels, and we're selling some. I think we need to get rid of one of those. Either the wood wheels or the shovels. Construction efficiency? What is that, I wonder? Building construction speed? Do we care? Not really. I'd rather have something like house cost... Um, okay, so we're almost done with the fire. We can turn off fire in a second. 
I feel like we definitely don't have enough people like or we don't have enough foresters we need to build foresters but I think we should turn off planks here selling them so you see why I feel like this game is pretty interesting in terms of like it's different than other games uh, because you have to make a lot of interesting choices rather than just like oh yeah just spam cl click the button yeah, that doesn't work very well. <laughs> that's just that's just mindless. We don't want to be mindless. We want to we want to play games that that are interesting to our brains. Brains like interesting stuff, you know. It's good stuff for them. Okay, wooden wheels are eating everything. The planks we have no wood. That's the main problem right now, and we can't get trees because we have no forests. What do we need for foresters? We need planks. <laughs> All right, let's turn off the wheels for now. And then we should be getting planks by the millions. Except for the shovel part. Except for the shovel part. <laughs> uh, how's our research doing on shovels? Wait, we're, are, are we just selling them? I thought we had, or maybe we had already completed. Okay. Jewelry, ore silo, uh, coal cultivation, and a forge. We got many new things here. Okay, okay. These folks are still working on the flour and the grain and stuff. And we have new things, but now we should be getting some planks, right? Okay, 0.33 per second. But that's because of a limited input. Yeah. Unfortunately, we need to build like a billion foresters. I think that's the technical number that we need. One billion foresters. Um, but yeah, we have new things. What's the farm do? Okay, it cultivates all of these different things, I guess. Otherwise, we're just like collecting them in the wild, probably. Uh, we do get a mine. That's going to give us ore. I guess, yeah, we have to have that in order to gather properly. But it, do it's, it doesn't ever completely run out. I guess it just goes at a lower level until we, you know, get the thing. Except for this. Wow, we're at zero iron ore. Okay, I guess that's a reason to build a mine. That is indeed a reason to build a mine. Okay, prospecting, go. One of the things I don't understand is why do these not auto auto-add themselves because like you would never turn those down I don't think. I don't think you'd ever turn them off or down. So I don't really understand why those don't auto-add themselves unless it's just for consistency. Because you are you actually have to add them in other things and you turn them down or off in other categories as well but it's not as if these like cost anything to be on like they don't cost employees or electricity or anything like that okay land capacity production capacity okay is there anything we want from here not really jewelry is books we don't have any books nor refined planks or ingots or things or stuff paper we could get paper that's going to get us books eventually. Um, but I feel like... Well, we'd have to add somebody on water duty. We also have nobody on wood. I also think we need to turn off the, the hearth, the fire. Let's turn that off so we can actually get something else. So wood is completely going into planks construction. Which is good for building certain things like say houses for example uh, we're getting now half a second half per second not half a second <laughs> half per second on the planks there I do want to get the forester with this so that was 41 planks required I want to see how much the next one costs 54 that's a lot okay so, let's get this one going. Jeez. Worker six, skill level eight. Limited input available. I don't really understand that. 
Why does it say zero? Like, times zero. Is that because we're using so much? Let's see if we turn down trees. Does that change things? So now the trees are growing. We get it. Okay, good, good. But why does it say limited input available times zero? Because it says still zero per second. What do these say? These say stuff per second. I don't really get this. Why does this say zero? Because it's clearly adding trees right now. I don't really understand that at all. We need more of these, but... Ah, we gotta turn on wood again. I wish it told me the actual number. That would have been nice. I guess we can send you to get this. And the ore also is not functioning very well. Plus 55 per second. This one is at... Now it says 5.10 per second. How can that be correct? Now it's 0 0.8 times limited input. I don't really understand how this works. The numbers don't seem to work for me. I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, all this is going to planks anyway. And I don't understand why harvesting is 100% and planks is 85%. There's nothing else that eats the planks except for I mean, it eats the wood but planks. Strange. Okay. Anyway, the numbers I think are a little bit wonky on some of it. But maybe that's just like little bugs here and there. So, now though, we can build some things. Can we? Um, we still need more foresters, I feel. Like, lots more. We're getting crazy amounts of planks, though. That's good. But I think when I, um... When I leave it for idle time, I'm definitely going to keep some red coins on and some market on. And then if I play, uh, you know, actively, I'll put, I'll turn the crafting down and then kind of fill up the inventory to build. Because you can build best, obviously, when you're playing actively. Um, and then, okay, here we go. And I don't know what this percentage is either, the 53%. I have no idea what that means. No clue whatsoever. Let's build another house. Wow, 124 planks needed? Holy fuzzy cats. How's the rock doing? Rock is... Okay, it's, it's going up. Actually, almost on that one. But planks are a bit slower. Tiny bit slower. Okay. I don't think we need a school. I think one is enough for now. Let's see. Farm, well, forge... I guess eventually we're going to need the other stuff here. Oh, yes, let's get this on. So now we have plenty of that-ish. Plenty, with fingers crossed, right? <laughs> yep, that. So now we have five there, 5.4 there of trees. So it should be growing, technically. Okay, so I think we should get ready to idle. So let's go put our wooden plank, wooden wheels on. Uh, because that one, let's put two on that one, or maybe even three. Yeah. Let's put three on that one, and then let's sell stuff. We'll sell the wooden wheels. We're going to sell the planks. Um, should we sell refined planks, actually? Those are very high-priced. What do those cost? Uh, I think they're just planks, right? 
Yeah, it's two. Oh, it's two planks per one of those. So we can take one of these off and just do one there. And okay, this is complete. Pasture, animal feed. Okay, lots more stuff to keep on going here. Anyway, check this out. See if you enjoy it. Uh, see if you find it fun and all that kind of stuff. And um, again, it's on the playtest basis right now. The full game is not out. It is going to be released into early access soon, but you can kind of get the jump on it and just request to be part of the playtest via the Steam link, uh, which you will find in the description below. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is kind of an interesting, different take on an idle game. Because again, as I said, we are going to be able to get uh, time's worth as we're logged out of the game or as we close the game. Um, but we can play actively and there's a lot of decisions to make. So I really like that part of it. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.